So hey everybody, I basically thought I wasn't gonna do another another video. Um I wanna talk about some as a community I feel like that we don't stick together enough, we don't grow enough, and I feel like that people do what they wanna do. Um I said in my last video that I was not gonna speak on this and I, I'm not. Because number one is too early, and number two, I'm not trying to get no kind of dragging or class for this video. I'm not speaking on this. I'm not. But what I am going to speak on is I feel as a community when our black brothers, our black kings, seem to make a whole lot of money. We don't know when to stop. We don't know when to. Take it upon myself, take it upon not just me, but take it on ourselves to do the right thing. <laughs> and the right thing could be a whole bunch of things. You know what I'm saying? We rather go out there and buy a whole bunch of cars. We rather go out there just to splurge instead of taking it on and, and, and taking the money to put back in the community. Do I think that what happened? early this week was a tragedy. Oh, yes, it was a tragedy for the music industry. You know, we lost very, one of our talented brothers, our own. But at the same time, it's just like, when it's enough, it's enough. You understand what I'm saying? Because I think, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know their music personally, but I think that, that he was a talented young brother. And I think that he'd be well missed, and I think that he he, from what I get, I understand him because he was a laid back, chill dude. And so that's why, because people I know is asking why I won't do a reaction to this because it's a lot of things, because it just seems tacky to me to get on here and react to that situation. If you notice, the whole time I've been sitting up here talking, I have not even said no names. All of I said was that the brother was talented because the brother was talented, you know, but I'm not going to say no names because I don't feel the need to. Um, I just like don't understand. And I guess me as being who I am, whether I'm gay, transgender, it don't matter. Me being as a black person, period. I don't understand where does it come to to where we see it's okay for us to do the things that we do. I mean, I think I was talking about it today. We get all this money. We... It, 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 we just don't know. I guess we. I don't. I don't know if we don't know what to do with it. I don't know if we don't know how to spend it. I don't know. I think we just take the money and just splurge instead of, like I said, put it back into the community. It's things that you can do to help others. You know, I've been watching a lot of YouTubers. And I see these YouTubers driving fancy cars, old school cars. And you know who I'm talking about. I'm not here to drag nobody. But old school cars have rims and stuff. I mean, just boasting. All this jewelry uh, around their neck. Just, I mean, just doing too much. Not investing their money into something that could be longevity just uh, taking their money and just splurging just want to be as we used to say back in the day just want to be seen and just not even necessary to be seen i just i don't, I don't understand it i don't you know, 
I do think when we seem to get a lot of money, we think we more than we are. We think that we untouchable. We think that we can't be touched. We think we rule the world. No, you don't rule the world. God rules the world. And I think that's the first thing that we should know in the longevity of the whole situation. People, you have to learn how to do things in a right way, I want to say, and take things that you do for accountability. And you also have to know when you have money, you're a target. You become to be a target. And we don't realize that until it's too late. We're a target, you know. Uh, we have money, we're a target. People look at us as a target. People want what we have. Um, do, is it right or is it fair? No, it's not right or is it or noise fear because we deserve to be happy because we work hard but it's just because we work hard that doesn't mean that we not talking we talk we talk about a whole bunch of people we talking about by society we target by I'm not going to say it, but y'all know. You know, um, I was watching this movie and about this transgender, and it came up today that her name was Dominique. And I thought I kept seeing that movie or seeing people talk about it, but it came up today. Um... And I sit there and say this. When you are transgender, you are more targeted than others. And the reason why I say this, even when you're gay, you're more targeted than others. We more targeted than straight people because the first thing we like, we really don't like to be with our same peers. We like to be with straight straight beings. Or as we said in the, in our own self with Trey or straight boys, I don't really like it. You know what I'm saying? I because I don't want to be targeted, and I fear for my life in certain ways. And one way I fear for my life is I don't want to have to get on no train or have to get on no bus and come up dead somewhere. Because that's usually what happened. Look at look at what all look what happened with all these trains. You have to go back and you you just have to look at it. Look at what happened to all these trainees. Have anything happened to the gays? Mm, I I got to speak for the trainees. No. <laughs> and I really think so. Be and I really think. That re really ain't nothing too much happen to the gays because they don't dress up like women and they don't consider themselves as women. Uh, but to me, I look at it: if you care, if you are gay and you carry yourself, you carry a purse, if it's the Chanel bag, whatever kind of bag it is, and it's swiped around your neck, shoulder cross, or whatever. You are acting like a girl. And you 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 might not become a target right now, but trust me, when I say you will become a target, you will become a target. Trust me.
trust me when I say that. Uh, people, look, I'm not trying to scare anyone. I'm just trying to say you have to be um, you have to watch your well-being. You have to watch your surroundings because we living in a world where there is danger that we can't walk around and just be gay because like I was watching a show with Big Frida and Big Frida sit there and said that back in New Orleans back when she was coming up she had to fight because being gay wasn't accepted like it is now and it wasn't I think more now the younger generation got it good if they come out being gay because the reason why I say that is because being gay now, I feel like we might not be up there, up there, but being gay is much easier because I say that back when I was coming up, you did have to fight. Every day you had to fight. Every day of your life you had to, you had to fight. So it wasn't easy being gay. No, no. It was very hard. It was very hard. Um, and they was talking about on TV last night on a Leslie, the Breakfast Club, I was watching it. And they were saying that people had their cameras out and a person could be laying there just in blood allegedly they taking pictures and posting them just to get clout i agree i do agree because how else is it that these people come on tv and know about certain things Yeah, I do. I do agree, and I do, and I do believe it. I do agree, and I do believe it. Because people don't know how to uh, be respectful towards the family. They don't. Now, just like I said, I wouldn't mention no names, but I give my condolence to the family. That's being respectful. You know, that's letting the family know, okay, they giving us some time to do, to grieve or whatever. I'm not just giving them no time because I'm not doing no reaction video on that. I'm not doing it because it's tacky. You know, it does seem like you're doing it for class. It does seem like you're doing it to get views. I'm not doing it. Mm -mm. No. I wasn't. I'm sorry it happened to him. And my prayers go out. I say this over and over again. My prayers go out to the family. But I wasn't a fan of their music. I really didn't know who they were. So I was like, was I surprised? Yes, I was because I seen them around. Don't get me wrong now. I seen them on the videos and stuff like that. And I seen them on the BET Awards. But I was surprised when everything happened. Because I was like, I just couldn't believe it. You know what I'm saying? And, but we living in a society where the only thing that matters is money. And money makes the world go around. That's just like you know, um, something happened to me today, y'all, that <sighs> now you don't talk about this, but something happened to me today that really 
made me kind of kind of upset. I feel like that I was I'm in my prime and I'm in my life and I'm doing good. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, but at the end of the day, I'm still getting rid of career of the things. Not getting rid of career, I'm still not getting the help that I deserve or the help I need. And when they say, don't forget to go vote, then you thinking in your mind, what's the use of you going to vote when you're not getting the help that you need? Because today, you know, it's hard when you own disability and you have to, and then, and then you have to pay other bills. But this is the first thing that they tell you. This is the first thing that they tell you. Well, did you save any money? How do you save any money when food gone up? You know, and people don't want to help you. People don't want to give you assistance for nothing. And that's just true. People don't want to give you no assistance for nothing. You got no help nowhere. The elders ain't got no help. The disabled ain't got no help. It's no help nowhere. The only help you going to get is the help when you go to the hospital. I mean, it's sad to say, and it's sad to be real about it, but it's just, it's just sad. And that's why I say what I say. People, money makes the world go around, and money makes the world crazy. It, it's, it's just a bunch of mess. It's just a bunch of mess. And it, it, it makes me angry at people because the way that people do or the way that people act. And people can't act like they don't care about other people. So, but that's all I wanted to say, y'all. I love y'all. Y'all stay safe.